Hey there, Skyblock. Moogle Muffins here with a little tutorial today on how to build a hidden 2x1 door that is toggled by a button instead of a lever, which will make it a little bit harder to find if you aren't looking for it. Um, to give you an example of what we're talking about here, let me turn around. Here we go. So you see I built this little library setup, and there's a door hidden in here, and this little button here is what controls it. So if you notice, we push this button, and there it opens the door, and then we have, oops, well that works too. Um, we have the trapdoor here, which opens and goes down to whatever we want to hide down below. And unlike a normal button where you'd push it and then this would open and then you put and then it would pop back out after a second or two, um, it's wired in such a way that the button works like a lever does. And so this will stay open until I push this button again. And there we go hidden right in there. And yeah, like I was mentioning before, I mean, if you did this in a cave or built some sort of thing with, with cobble or stone, you could definitely do this with a stone button and it would be incredibly effective. This you can kind of see um, with on the book blocks, but if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't really notice it at all. Um, before we actually get to the building of it, let me kind of show you what the circuit looks like. It's really simple. Uh, if we just hop down here, this little setup from this piston to this piston over here. Um, this is the circuit itself. And that's just really the important part. The rest of it is all just the redstone you need to hook it up to however far away you're going to do it, whether you want the button next to the door like I did here, or you hide the button halfway across the building and make it impossible for people to find. But all you'll need in terms of uh, resources wise is you need three redstone torches, one, two, and then there's a third one, there's a third one under there as you can see. Um, you need four pistons, two are normal, these two are normal, and then two stickies for the door. And then you'll need the redstone, however much it'll take for you to wire it to wherever you're wanting it to go. And then maybe a re repeater also, depending on how far away. And that's what you'll need in terms of the redstone supplies. But everything else is pretty easy to come by, unless of course you're building a library, because that's really hard to get to <laughs> on Skyblock. So let's start out with just the door, of course. So two sticky pistons on top of each other, and then the two in front. Pretty simple. And so that'll be our that'll be our door blocks that come out here. And then for the button, so once again I'll just do this really close to it for simplicity's purpose. So I'll push the button here. Looks like we're what two blocks in. Yeah, two blocks in. Okay, knock out that here. Let me get some redstone dust. Okay. So we want to come out the back, and if you want to keep this as unobtrusive as possible, um, you could definitely build this down like this in the skyblock and hide it under the building. Um, obviously you're not going to have to dig through all this dirt, or sandstone in this case, I guess. But, uh, but the idea is, is still the same. Oh, whoops. Okay. So you want to make sure you go down, and then down, and then down once more. And make sure this one is even. And now you're just going to need to carve out a little space in here. Um, for the actual circuit, it just needs to be a 2x4, um, starting one space below where this last redstone comes out. Um, I'm going to carve out a little bit more, just so we have space to mo move around, and also um, just so you can see what I'm doing. And of course you can fill this all in later or cover it however you need to, to to hide it effectively. And the last thing I need to do is to make sure you have a hole right there. Okay, so let's place the normal pistons first. So these do not need to be stickies. You can do it if you want, but um, it's cheaper of course. Unless you, it's cheaper of course without the slime. So you place the two pistons, uh, one on this side and one right here, two blocks away from each other. And then I'm going to switch to bricks here just so you can see which blocks are important. So you're going to stick the first one right in front of that one, and then another one on top, and then another one right here. And now we're going to put in our torches. So we want one on the end. Sorry, you want to do this one first, sorry. I want to do one on the end here, and one on the end here, and then you're going to need some redstone dust across the top to hook it up like that. And then under here you want to stick a torch. 
and make sure that that block's there. So, that, so when this block is over it, it's all covered up. So now what we need to do is is just the wiring into the the back. This looks like here we have our pistons. Okay. So let's go ahead and dig a little bit down. See where we are. There we are. Okay, and you're going to want to make sure that the redstone doesn't get cl too close to the pistons. So you want to make sure you're a block away, at least with the dust, to make sure you don't interfere with the signal. And so you're going to want redstone to come out there, and then up and around, one block away from that, and then up, up. Okay, so there's our bottom piston. There we go. So now if we go back over here, it looks like... Okay, now we have both of them closed. And everything's all hooked up. Um, and you can fill in over the top or whatever you need to do. Uh, over here, what I did is I just kind of made a little fountain thing to go over the top with a bunch of randomly spawned squids. And then on this side, I did a little row of um, a little row of the leaf blocks for a little bush, a little bush along the sides. Uh, this should all be hooked up now, and if we go in here to test it, let's see if this goes. And there we go. We have our little door, and we have our little trap door going down. And I'll try this again. Alright, and there you have it. It's your little 2 by one hidden piston door. Um, I would show you how I implemented this in the Skyblock, but the server's down right now, and... So I won't be able to do that for you, but it is. I did use it in pretty much the same way as you're seeing here, hidden in, in a library. Um, so, but yeah, go ahead and use that to your to your will, and that should be pretty easy to hide if you want to um, have some sort of secret area to to make it a little bit harder for if any griefers get on your island to steal your stuff. All right, thanks for watching, everyone, and you have a good time.